You hear some noise in the street and rush up to the window to check what caused it. You look up at the sky and just stand there, speechless. The moon is giant. It looks much larger than usual, and it's both beautiful and scary. So what would your life be like if the moon moved twice as close to Earth as it is now? Unfortunately, it would be quite a catastrophic scenario. You see, the moon has a pretty strong gravitational pull on Earth's oceans. It produces two high tides and two low tides per day. But with the moon so close to us, the tides would get eight times higher. Some regions would be completely covered with water during the day. The water would only retreat at night. Many islands and highly populated coastline territories would become uninhabited because of this. Many other regions would experience frequent devastating floods. But if you think it would be the only consequence, let me tell you this. The moon also has a tidal effect on dry land. That's why if our planet's natural satellite was to suddenly relocate, its gravitational pull would increase, making waves of energy reverberate throughout the planet. This would affect Earth's crust, triggering earthquakes and starting volcanic eruptions. Now, let's leave Earth and the giant moon for a while and have a look at Jupiter's moon, Io, which is the most volcanically active world in our solar system. This volcanism comes from the push and pull from Jupiter's gravity. Two other moons of the gas giant also have an effect on poor Io. That's why Io's surface is littered with hundreds of volcanoes. Most of them are spewing sulfurous plumes high above the surface of the moon. Our planet might face the same fate should the moon move so close to it. And that's not all. Earth's spin would start to slow down over time. Look, the moon's gravity pulls the oceans, and the resulting friction between the water and the ocean floor slows Earth's spin. Yes, Earth is slowing down even now as you're watching this video, but this process is almost imperceptible, around one thousandth of a second per century. If the moon was twice as close to us, the rotation of our planet would slow much more, making days and nights longer. If people managed to survive unexpected earthquakes, high tides, and volcanic eruptions, and got used to longer days and nights, they would get an award. Solar Eclipses These spectacular events that occur when the moon passes between the sun and earth would happen much more frequently. Since the moon would cover a much larger area in the sky, it would pass in front of the sun more often. People on Earth would be able to see the sun's outer atmosphere, called the corona. It would shine beautifully around the silhouette of the moon. Such solar eclipses would also last much longer. But what if the moon didn't shorten the distance overnight? What if it was a much slower and much more gradual process? Then our planet's crust would shift more slowly. Tides wouldn't change so dramatically either. This would let living creatures on the planet get used to the new conditions and adjust in time. Longer days and nights would likely change the climate, and animals would have to evolve to adapt to it. Their eyes would have to change to be able to deal with brighter moonlight at night. Prey would have to learn to hide better, but predators, on the other hand, would have more advantages when hunting. But what catastrophe would have to happen to make the moon move so close to Earth? Well, it could be some massive object, like a giant asteroid passing very close to the Earth-Moon system. If the moon was in the way of this space traveler, it could take energy from Earth's satellite, which would cause the moon to spiral towards our planet. <laughs>